expert retail and feather start the gates. And today I'm going to take you through a walkthrough of the brand new 2019 Softail Heritage 114. Let's start with the engine on this Heritage. This has the Milwaukee 8 114 engine in it, which translates to 1868 cc's. These engines are incredibly powerful. I really love how they sit in here all blacked out. We do have nice, just like chrome fins running down it. Just what a great looking engine. You have that big, beautiful intake on it as well with a 114 logo going across it. These engines are incredibly powerful, very smooth. The throttle response on this heritage is incredible. It is a six speed transmission and it is belt driven. Let's move up front on the Heritage, where you have the 16-inch all-gloss black steel-glazed front wheel. This is a 130 in width. Uh, really gives that front end a nice balance to it. Very smooth ride. Sticking up front on the motorcycle here, we do have the classic old-school Heritage kind of wrap-around fender on there. Uh, I'm a big fan that they kept with the traditional style on that. Just love the way it looks over that front tire. Moving up where everything on the front end is blacked out, and then you come up to this nice windshield on here, which is detachable, so if you want to take it off, you just going to be riding in town instead of doing some interstate, you just want to feel a little bit more wind, the windshield does come off, and then you're leading up to these nice 10-inch mini apes on here, which really kind of give this bike a nice, comfortable seating stance. And on these touring bikes, that's what you want. I myself am 6'1". I found that with the 10-inch apes on here, it really gave me a nice upright seated position. Let's move down on the motorcycle. We're coming out of the engine. You have the two into two all chromed out exhaust on here. I do like how the exhaust is all solid chrome, which is just kind of playing off the little bit of chrome on the engine, as I said, with the fins there being chrome. Just kind of gives it a very nice play. I do know that on the Heritage, and one of the main things of the Heritage of old was that the Heritage was loaded with chrome. And I do know to a lot of Harley lovers that maybe going kind of blacked out was a little bit of a different move. I personally love the blacked out look on these motorcycles. Uh, it takes nothing away from the old school chrome, but I do feel that on these newer models, it is really giving it a new look, a very aggressive look, and it's just kind of really brought these heritages into today with still keeping with the very nice classic lines of the old school. Moving to the back of the motorcycle, we do have the all leather saddlebags on here. These are a very nice touch. It's just a one touch open here. Uh, these are full locking bags. They are weatherproof, so anything you're gonna throw in here is gonna stay nice and dry. Uh, I'm a very big fan of the bags. I do like how they have, still have kind of a classic rivet look on them from the old school, but that, that they blacked them out. Once again, kind of going with that new feel on there, everything blacked out. Seat height on this motorcycle comes in at 26 inches. So it's not too tall on the motorcycle, but also not a super low slung motorcycle. This is gonna fit a definite wide range of riders from a little bit shorter to much taller. The weight on this motorcycle, fully loaded, ready to go down the road, comes in at 768 pounds. So it's not a super heavy motorcycle, but also not light as a Sportster or a Dyna. But when you are rolling down the road on this thing, all of that weight completely disappears. And with how nicely balanced it is, even when you're at the stoplight sitting on it, waiting for the light to turn green, uh, the weight does not bother you. Into the gas tank on this Heritage, where you have the five gallon gas tank. So you are gonna get tons of miles under your belt before you're worried about having to go fill up on it. And that's what you want on these. This bike is meant to be ridden. You wanna take your long rides on this motorcycle. Hit the interstate, hit the open back roads, and just go and not worry about fueling up. Okay, let's talk about something very special on this Softail Heritage 114 that is only available on the 114 model, which is this limited edition, hard to find Silver Flux paint set. These are very desired right now, and we feel very fortunate here at Dillon Brothers to not only have one of these paint sets, but to have it on such an incredible motorcycle like the Heritage. I think that this paint set on this bike is just an absolute jaw-dropping standout on this motorcycle. I'm gonna take the camera over the paint set so you can really kind of see some of the detail in here. 
where you have kind of that, the silver is almost like a gunmetal silver. You have really nice accents of flake coming up underneath it with a lot of silvers and a little bit of hint of blue with certain lights as well. And you have a nice black outline kind of tie all the black together on this motorcycle. And then one of my favorite things too is I love the raised badge on the gas tank here where you can really just go over it, feel the Harley Davidson letters on there, and it's just a nice orange paint really popping off that silver flux. Just an overall amazing paint scheme on this motorcycle. And as I said, pretty hard to find. So we are very fortunate here to have one of these. And if you are interested in this heritage with the silver flux paint, Please stop out at Dylan Brothers Harley Davidson today. Come take a look at it up close and personal. Throw a leg over this bike. Pretty sure you will not be disappointed. If you are watching this video via YouTube and are interested in this motorcycle, for an average cost of around $600, we can ship this bike from our door to your door. And as always, from the entire Dylan Brothers Harley Davidson family, thank you so much for checking out our videos. And always remember, Gear up, ride safe. Thanks a lot.